it's a little cold today and it's windy. We're out by ourselves. Oh, the bird in the tree scared everybody. How many? Scarecrow thing right here. Good girl. Good job, Nanny. Good girl. All right. It's her first time being out here. They got all the strawberries packed. hills like they're nothing. Now we got the stairs coming up. So of course she's very good with her feet. So this is her first time out here, so she's doing great. There's not much out here, but still coming up to go in the woods by yourself. A lot of horses don't want to do it. And she's a little jumpy, but nothing bad. This is just going to get better as we take her out more by herself. This is the real narrow spot. She did good. She even looked at it. She's very smart. She seems very happy to be out here. Right? It's hard being in the arena all your life. footing very very well. No, this is just sand. So you see my reins are short because this is you know her first time out here by herself. You want to be prepared and ready. You want them to have a good experience not a bad experience. This is better than a lot of the seasoned trail horses to come out here and just kind of go slow. So I do like to practice some of my leg yielding, so I'm going to do that just to kind of occupy their mind, make sure they're paying attention to you, so they just leg yield back and forth. Then you still get to practice your arena work without being in the arena. Then I serpentine a little, give your horse something to do. Keeps you awake, keeps them awake. Now we'll just go straight. So she's doing good, so I'm loosening up a little on the rain. Still staying short, but now I'm in the blue. I was in the red to start. girl. But overall she seems uh, pretty confident. So I'll have halt down the hills because sometimes doing horses don't know. They will just go too fast so they want to have halt and make them go slow so they want to go slow. And she 
was fine with my head hitting the trees. Like I said, some horses aren't used to that, so I don't think they're all fine, because they're not. Remember, when you're on your horse, breathe. Stay relaxed. You're using your balance to stay in the saddle. He shouldn't be having a grip the whole time to hold on to them. So that's why you practice in the ground better the arena, just balancing yourself a bit sitting there. Most horses come out here the first time by themselves and they're pretty fast because they're very nervous. They figure if they get there faster, it'll be over quicker. <laughs> so, other times the horse is just pretty fast, but I want to make sure they'll go fast or slow. So we do a little bit of both. Someone has some gas. It's not me. Yeah, I like to keep their head down as they go up the hills to make them drive with their back end. So she tried to lift her head a little, but that's all she did. horse is different how brave they are. They're fine by themselves. That's good. You saw her spook. She was spooked in place. Again, this is her first time. Um, but she seems like she's going to be great at the trail. And she moves up just enough not to be boring, but not so much that it's make somebody scared, I wouldn't think. They're just walking. Okay, so here she got just a little nervous. I think something's eating these bushes because all the horses get a little nervous right up here. So you want to breathe. Your mouth. Now we're going downhill. Yeah, half halt, release to keep them slow. Kind of stand in your stirrups if you can. Thank you, Minnie. So you free up their back to go down the hill. Girl, over here. So I don't see much except maybe animals on this trail, but it's a good way to test their feet and the footing to see how they handle everything. And it's got hills and crevices. So we're going uphill, but I'm gonna make her do it slow. Good girl, she's a very good climber. Like they fixed some of the footing here, so it's kind of look weird to horses because it's black and it's orange. Good girl. Maybe you should have seen this before, man. It's crappy. I like to stay right in the middle of things like that because if something jumps out, you want lots of room. You don't like it on either side because you don't know where something's going to jump out at. If you're trying to hold up strength, it's good to make your horse just gate up those or, um, you know, just walk so you can really feel them dig their hind feet in and push themselves up the hill. And just alternate your hills so you're not always doing the same thing. 
you know, don't canter all your hills, don't gate all your hills, because horses memorize. And then they get antsy if you don't let them do those things. So you walk some. See what she's looking at. Um, walk some, you can canter some, gate some. If you have an anxious horse, you need to practice walking a lot, not going fast. Right? Sometimes they were ridden so fast they didn't see anything. So she wanted to stop and look, and a lot of mares will do that. They're checking, you know, they're doing their safety check. What's up there? That means she might be able to hear something I can't hear or see something. Girl. So she's a little nervous. That's good. The birds flew out. She just did a little jiggle in place. Good girl. Okay. So we'll get off. There's some oil water tank things up here. And we're gonna graze her anyhow. So you did very well for the first time you got up here. Yeah, now I'm going to help you. So I like to do this a lot with new horses. She did great. A lot of horses I just hand walked the first time, but I could tell she was pretty brave. So, and you're trying to build up trust. So when your horse tells you they're a little nervous, you know, listen to them, talk to them, try to help them. I don't know if she's ever seen water tank things before because a lot of horses are scared of these. Right? Hey, don't get ahead of us. It's good to get off and uh, walk your horse. Make sure they can walk well on the trail and that they listen to you and stay back. Other times you have to get off and people can't control their horse and they want to get back on. I go, well, that's not a good reason to get back on. <laughs> so good to get off, walk them for a bit, get back on, do different things so they get used to it. So for being out here all by herself, the very, very first time she's done this, she's doing great. So we're going to graze a little and then we'll put you back on. Don't remember, they won't graze unless they feel comfortable. So the fact we're out here all by herself and she's grazing is a very good sign that she's pretty comfortable. Uh, so I just got off from the ground and parked her out. She did good. She waited. She likes to wait because she gets a little cookie right now. And now we're headed back, so this is just an out and back trail. Most of the horses speed up in the beginning, so I'm going to see what she does. She's walking a little fast, but not bad. Good girl. Oh. Good girl. Good job. Oh, good girl. Good job. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm walking and stopping because it teaches oh, the horses to go downhill slow and also to stop. If you ever need to stop on a hill, they should be able to stop anywhere. If it's really steep, they might have to turn sideways to kind of balance themselves. As with any of your trails, the, when they first go on them, good girl. She's going nice and slow. Good girl. You're such a girl, Minnie. Um, they're usually a little fast in the beginning because they're nervous, right? And then uh, as you keep doing your trails over and over again, they get used to it. It's like their job. And then uh, they'll get slower unless you're running them or running with or riding with crazy people. So. They should get more comfortable, not worse, if you're doing it right. But it takes time. You can be jumpy and spooky on new trails because they don't know what to expect. It's just like you at your new job. You know, you don't know what's expected of you. You're nervous. You mess up. You mess up some more. You do a good job, then you mess up some more. And that's how it goes with the horses. They're good. They're bad. They're good. They're bad. They're good. They're better. They're great but it doesn't start like that.
Okay, so you gotta give them all time. Some of them it takes weeks because they've been doing it all their life and traveling all around, so they're used to going to different places. And some horses have been in the same place all their life. Many hasn't been many places. Um, and so it takes them some time. It's going to take many months. I always tell everybody the horse will know you in about two minutes. It's going to take you about a year to know your horse. And that's a year working with it, not it just sitting in the pasture. So. Everybody's in a rush. Take your time. Make everything slow. Be safe. Doesn't matter how long it takes to get there, you'll still get there. Great relationship to have with the horse, but you have to build on it. You have to show them they can trust you. You have to show them you're there for them. You're there to help them not to scare them and you know they'll help you when you need help you help them when they need help which might be more often in the beginning but mares like this um are great minnie just wants to be with me all day long so, look she's like look if i stop for you good girl Okay, she's stopping. She's just looking, seeing what's up there. You want a cookie? I can't have any more. <laughs> um, but that's okay. That's what mares usually do. And mares have a very good memory. That's why they're usually leading everybody. Think about all that, that elephant. It's usually a grandma that's leading everybody to the water. So. Girls usually have a very good memory. They'll remember you did good things to them and they'll remember you did bad things to them. And they'll remember things they got away with that you didn't correct. So they're great, but you gotta understand them, you gotta work with them. And some are easier than others. Minnie's great. She's my kind of girl. She likes to go places. She don't want to sit at home. She likes attention. She's friendly. She's funny. But she needs she needs work. She needs a job. Somewhere to put her energy. So I always steer the horses where to go. Unless I have no clue. Um, because I can see, you know, the footing, how it is, and where it's best for both of us. You always hear, let the horse choose the footing. They will choose what's good for them, but the young horses don't know, or the horses that have never been on trail before, they don't know, because they didn't get to follow any other horses, and they don't know. So, that's more experienced horse. You let them show you where to go if you don't know what you're doing. But otherwise, I pick the footing. I pick the footing that's safe. Not gonna slide or go off the trail or something. Lots of times, the horses like to walk on the edge of trails. You know, when there's a drop off, say there was a drop off to the right, they hang right on the edge. Nobody knows why. And I go, well, because the left, there's a hill. And guess what? That's where mountain lions hide, is up in the hills. And then they leap out. So something spooks your horse on the left thinks it's a mountain lion guess what it's going to jump off the trail to the right so you try and stay in the middle of the trail so you have room to steer your horse and hopefully a mountain lion won't jump out but um otherwise you, you know birds fly out of a bush your horse might jump off the side of the trail thinking it's a mountain lion once it sees it's not it'll go back up there but when it jumps off the side of the trail if you don't have good balance it might take with it and you might fall off so knowing why horses do things and what to do to help yourself is better so you know there's a big trail like this just stay in the middle of it until something's coming unless you know bikes or something are coming and uh, always try to put yourself in the safest position but just know if your horse is going towards the edge of the trail they usually want to run downhill because they're faster that way versus jumping up something so just keep that in mind
Okay, so she did pretty good overall with all of this. Because again, I've taken many horses out here. She's not trippy, she's very sure-footed. She handled all the terrain well. funny when I take mares through this part it's very narrow all the mares slow down and look like oh gotta be careful here and all the geldings go why are we slowing down boom 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 they smack into the sides <laughs> so just so you know why the mares are like I don't want to fall down I don't want to get hurt you made it back like, oh, it's over already. So these are the step downs that we're going to go down in a second. So you have halt, slow them down, then let them have their head for this. Oh, she did that quite well. So let them have their head, half halt, let them have their head. So they can use their head at neck to actually balance themselves. This is good, she's slowing down instead of speeding up. Going towards home. Well, if your horse is going fast, she's not. But a good exercise to do with a speedy horse, if you can make it do it, is whoop, stop. Good girl. And walk off again. Kind of like 10 steps, whoop, and then walk off again. Uh, if your horse is antsy, and you repeat that the whole way down the hill, if your horse is antsy, you don't want to stand there too long or try to hold them, because what are they going to do? They're going to rear up because you won't let them go. So you just try to pause for a second or two, and then let them walk forward again. And then over time, as they get more comfortable, understand the exercise and comfortable with you, they will usually start going slower down the hill because they know you're going to stop every 10 steps. But you might have to repeat it three times in the horse has it, or you might have to repeat it thousands of times. Each horse is different. It's worked good for a lot of horses. Now these little swoops you're seeing, again, she's new out here, so I'm not surprised at all. That's why it's good to have trainers ride the horses in the beginning on new things, or you know, someone who can ride if you're nervous. So it's not the horse is nervous and you're nervous and you're both going out. There's the farmers out there. They're hard workers. And uh, so see, this is a tree. It looks a little weird. Because the trainers will help the horses get through the things instead of scare them. But if the horse is scared, you're scared, and you take it out there. Guess what? You're just going to scare the horse. It's not going to want to go back out there with you. So possible always get someone who's competent to ride the horse first to kind of test your new horse see how they do with everything and then once the horse is comfortable and doing well then you get on it or you just hand walk it out there in the beginning but do your groundwork first so you make sure you can handle it on the ground so she did so well so I would expect I do this a couple more times, she's going to be quite good at it. That's it with some show horses. They've seen a lot. You know, I've had a couple show horses come in lately, but you know, show horses see a lot of stuff. They're just not used to stuff popping up on the trail, so they got to get used to that. And then once they do, some of them are just awesome out there. Except the ones that have been beat up, that's a little different. Um, but ones like this, you saw Bud, he ended up being a great trail horse. And uh, Minnie's going to be a great trail horse too. This is all new to her, so it takes time, time and patience. I repeat that over and over again, but then everybody goes, when? When is it going to happen? 
happens when it happens. That's it. Just have patience. Enjoy the journey. If you're not getting there, it means you need to work on other stuff to help them. Or you need to get a trainer or lessons or something to help you. Uh, each horse takes a different amount of time to get them there. But the trainers can usually, if it's a good trainer, that is, can usually get them there faster. Okay, so now we're going back through the mud. Good girl. Okay, mud. Okay, so now as I get her back, I'm going to tie her up for a while, even though she wasn't really fast coming back. I still want to practice that and make sure she knows when she gets home. It's not all fun and games.